of the Gulf. There's a hole, there's a hole, oh, there's a hole in the bottom of the Gulf. My name is Artis, and I'm 61 years old, born in 1948 in Kodiak, Alaska, raised in Seattle. Yeah, I've been playing since I was 10. And I, my mom bought me a pair of musical spoons like toys, and my sister as well. And it broke mine, that's like, you know, like in the uh, mid 50s, late 50s. And um, took hers from her, never gave them back. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole in the bottom of the gulf. Yes, there's a hole. There's a hole. Oh, there's a hole in the bottom of the gulf. My name is Reggie Miles and I perform regularly on the street, uh, not just here at the public market, uh, Pike Place Market, but elsewhere throughout the city and in cities across the, the, the Northwest primarily. The ecosystem's dying in the oil that's flying from the hole in the bottom of the... the I was working at a, at a, uh, uh, a cafe next door to two bars. I play. I pull out spoons from the tray whenever there wasn't anything happening. It was just a small little hole in the wall, and I play. And people liked it. People would have me play. They didn't say stop. So I played. There's a hole. Well, there's a hole in the bottom of the gulf. Jeff Amon. Pearl Jam, the basis of Pearl Jam. He came up with the title Spoon Man. About the ecosystem dying and the oil that's flying from the hole in the bottom of the fishermen are crying. About the ecosystem After so many years, you develop uh, a confidence or a manner or a mode of performance that people will find entertaining or attractive to to stop and pause and give ear to. And, and I've sort of uh, created this little niche for myself uh, that a lot of people from this neck of the woods don't quite understand, but it's thoroughly understood anywhere across the Deep South. Uh, had a uh, had a saying that he would go on about uh, well, regarding busking, and uh, and I loved his message in in and how he said it. Uh, we don't play to no cover charges, minimum drink, dress codes, segregated money or culture. We play to whether you live on the 40th floor or under a bridge. We play to you. That's busking. That's playing the most difficult and honorable form of entertainment there is. It's the most challenging venue that you could ever bring your entertainment into because you have a multitude of distractions. It becomes an exercise in focus. BP keeps lying, fishermen are crying about the ecosystem dying and the oil that's flying from the hole in the bottom of the I slammed my mouth and uh, like hit my leg. I wonder, I might have some bruises here. It's not like I do it intentionally to hurt myself. It's part of the job, part of the expression and the intensity and the intimacy. Yeah, busking's not music. Busking's entertainment. Doesn't matter if you're doing sleight of hand, or you're doing that three card, whatever it's called, or it doesn't matter what you're doing, that's busking, entertainment. From the hole in the bottom of the... There's a hole, there's a hole, well, there's a hole in the bottom of the gulf. It's free entertainment. Uh, they come here and uh, we are merely performing for donations down here. Can you make a living doing this? Well, it depends on how you classify a living. <laughs> yes, there's a hole, don't you know? There's a hole in the bottom of the gulf.
I'm out here presenting emphatically what I believe in. Shit, I'm an evangelist. <laughs> I'm a busker evangelist. 